Welcome back to another Short and Sweet, where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Tony Bag of Donuts shared his Whiskey Acres Blue Popcorn Bourbon with us. Never heard of such thing. Is it a blue bottle? <laughs> well, Is it blue? <laughs> it's a sample it's bottle. It's not. I obviously know it's not blue. Yeah. Just playing. Just playing, you guys. Come on. It's 97 proof. It's a four year. Yes. And it has an interesting mash yeah, bill. Yeah, the mash bill is what makes this one really unique. 75% uh, of that blue popcorn, 15% of the red winter wheat, and then 10% malted barley. Mm -hmm. I just don't know anything about blue popcorn as a grain component in a whiskey. Right, that were, yeah. If I've ever had it, I didn't know I was having it. Yeah, so. and the distillery itself, Whiskey Acres, is one that we don't have a whole a lot, lot of, of familiar, experience. familiarity yeah. with. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of like red corn, blue corn, but mm -hmm. not like blue popcorn. Popcorn. Maybe it'll be sweeter with the wheat and the mm -hmm. popcorn. Yeah, this sweet? is a weeder. I don't know. I don't we'll know. find out. On this episode, <laughs> short and sweet. Oh, that's, that's an interesting nose. Yes. Um, it smells buttery, but not like in a buttered popcorn way, just like <laughs> actually <theater>. buttery. <laughs> no, that's the yeah. pump. I got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little, a little grain forward. Grain forward. What I think some people would Sweet. say, like a little craft. Mm -hmm. A little crafty. Uh, a little crafty. A little candy. Candy corn. Actually, I do kind of think it smells like candy corn. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe it should be candy corn bourbon. Maybe. To your health. That's different. That is different, yes. Texturally, I think it's actually pretty nice. It's got a good texture, um, yeah. I was just on a roller coaster of flavor. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's going to be funny to see that in the replay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm going to need a second sip. It, it's dry. It's a little dry. It is a little dry, yeah. And it, it sort of reminds me of dried out grains. Yeah. Bitter grain note lingering, I guess. But I actually do like the mouthfeel, and I thought it was interesting for four years, there's something going on that I like, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to go for a second sip yeah. to articulate. Second sip. And in fact, while we let this second sip kind of sit in, we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing. Sarah, the sweatshirt that you are wearing. We're still in that weather. Uh, yeah, also available in a hoodie. Uh, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from. In fact, all of our glassware, uh, bottle cut candles, our new elemental cocktail elixir syrup, and more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, discounts on that merch depending on your tier, mm -hmm. after the episode specials with us, a little extended edition, the director's cut, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, and more. Okay, well I've let that second sip sit in and... Um, it was I, a little uh, less yeah, and I do startling get, the second time. Uh, yeah, I actually get a hug this mm -hmm. time. Uh, that 97? 97, 97, 97, right? Yes, 97 yeah. proof. It does settle uh, in. It does settle in, yeah. I think the mouthfeel and like that finish do come across as older than four years. Mm -hmm. um, there is like a kind of a funky bitter note that's happening on the palate that I'm just like not a bitter, not my thing. Right. Um, so that for me was a little like jarring. But other than that, I mean, I think it has a good mouthfeel. I feel like we should know more about this distillery, you know, if this is coming out of there, this might not be the one for me, but I feel like they could you know, we could maybe find right, something Right, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, picking up some some DNA mm. from this distillery that, you know, we like to see in some other things. This is part of their Artisan series. Uh, it's one that kind of routinely sells out, but then they, you know, replenish. Mm -hmm. Like on their website right now, it says sold out currently, but expect more. And they do have a lot of other expressions, too. So this is sort of us just sort of dipping dip a in toe in. into this distillery. But... It is something different. Now, This I feel like this is going to be either for someone or not. Oh, pretty divisive, I think. Yeah. So if you stick completely in that caramel vanilla, you know. It's a very the, traditional classic. The big, what is it even now? Big six, big nine distilleries? Who even knows what it's considered the big ones anymore? But, you know, the, the big Kentucky distilleries, if you just stay in that lane, I feel like this is going to be a little bit outside of your lane. That, well, you're trying to think of a better, sure, yeah, yeah, trying to think of a better, uh, Example, but couldn't. But if you do, yeah, venture out more. If you want something unique and different, mm -hmm. um, like I think that at its core, the product has a lot of promise in terms of, like, for me, finding something that I like from them because I feel like they're they're getting the mouthfeel down really well. The finish is nice. There's just this particular note on the palate that is not for me. That bitterness. It's almost like a bitter chocolate or like 
a coffee bean or something just straight up and it's just like a, a little, yeah. it makes my mouth pucker. A really high percentage of chocolate. Yeah, type like, of like cacao Baker's type chocolate, like yeah. super bitter. Uh -huh. But I think it's got something. I'm intrigued by the distillery. Like if this is just one experiment that they put out or, you know, in this series, series yeah. I would be very curious to see like, what are their core products more like? What other, about the other experiments? Cause I do yeah. think this illustrates that they they know what they're doing or they're onto something. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to look out for more of it. Yeah, for sure. I, I kind of feel like I like it enough to get more expressions from the distillery. Ah, I would definitely try something else by them. Well, hey folks, if you haven't subscribed to us already, what you waiting for, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here and we'll see you over there on one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Tony. Until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>